Hey guys, my name is Quincy Gardner. Today I want to show you guys how to remove objects in the background. Uh, say for for instance, you were shooting a film and you were shooting in New York and you didn't want the uh, Statue of Liberty in the background for whatever reason, then uh, you could actually achieve uh, removing that with uh, After Effects and Photoshop. You know, maybe you're doing a post-apocalyptic movie and uh, that was destroyed, but um, in our case, we didn't shoot in New York. We actually shot in North Carolina, and um, in this very scene right here, we actually have this car right here in the far right, and so obviously it's out of place because she's in the woods, and uh, what's the point of shooting a film when you see a dead body when you can't just jump in your car and run to the police? And, you know, as we all know, in horror films, police are always no good they really are just no help whatsoever and so we have to remove this car so she has nowhere to go all right so what we're going to do is we want to render out the the very first frame of this uh pro of this comp so we want to go to up to composition i'm oh, sorry we want to go up to composition and save frame as and we want to go to photoshop layer uh, i'm going to add a one at the i'm sorry i'm just going to add a one at the in and I'm gonna save it and now we want to jump into Photoshop we're done with After Effects for now and so we want to jump into Photoshop and let's open up that file there's our file and we're gonna open that up and so there is our frame that we exported from After Effects and uh, now we're imported it in so um, <clears throat> uh, what I want to do uh, what, what I like to do is I want to right click it and then go to duplicate layer, you know, just for like a safety layer. And then we're just going to turn it off. So you want to click on the eye to turn that off. And so uh, in Photoshop, what we're going to be using, uh, we're not, I'm not doing anything really advanced or hard. All I'm going to be using is this little tool here. Uh, it's got the clone stamp tool and it looks like a little stamp. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to press the Z key. I'm going to click and I'm going to move my mouse to the right to zoom in. And I'm going to press, press space bar and uh, click so I can uh, come over here to the car so I can focus in more. So uh, with the clone stamp tool, uh, when you click on the down arrow right here, uh, the bigger it is, uh, when, you, when you're doing, when you're using the clone stamp tool, it's best to use a smaller size brush because uh, the bigger it is, the, the, the uglier it is, I'd say. The uglier it is. Uh, it's more uniform like for example let's see you take that and I mean you know yeah for example that that's how it's gonna look you know someone can definitely tell that some work's been done and uh, with the clone stamp tool is just taking one frame whatever you click on and then copy it and then cloning that to the uh, to another spot right here so um, I'm gonna yeah this is about right so what I'm gonna do is just I'm um, hold down the option or alt key uh, I'm on a Mac so please you know take that in account but you want to hold down option key and click on whatever you want to clone. And so right here, I want to bring these trees and I want to bring them down over the car. So I'm going to clone these trees and bring them down. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, bring it down. And I'm going to bring that down. And we're, and we're, and we're almost and we're almost there. So uh, let me actually yeah, bring that size down a little bit. All right, so now uh, that we're done, let's zoom back out and see how that looks. All right, so it's not bad. You really can't tell that that's that's wonderful, except for that looks a little. Um, that looks a little. I would I would really I would fix that uh, because it looks kind of like patterned. You know, the same thing. I would actually fix that though. But for tutorial's sake, it's okay. And so what you want to do is go back up to file and just save it. Uh, just overwrite. Uh, the file that you imported into after to, uh, I meant to Photoshop. I'm sorry. And so we're gonna exit Photoshop. We're done with Photoshop. So in After Effects, we want to import back in the Photoshop file. So there goes our Photoshop file, and we're importing it back in. And so bring it into your comp over top of your footage, and there you go. Uh, but we're not done yet uh, because as you see, we have the layer on there. But then you know where's our actress? You know we really can't find her. Uh, that's because uh, this layer, you know, the whole frame is over it, you know, not just, you know, we, we have to, we have to uh, put a mask around so it is, it's, so it's only uh, masking out that car. And so uh, to save time, I've already tracked the footage, uh, so we won't have to go through the pain. Um, if anyone does not know how to track, then uh, I assume I could do a separate tutorial on tracking footage though, but uh, 
I just tracked this dark piece of bark right here, and so there's this is my null, and uh, with my tracking data right there. So I'm gonna bring you know bring it to the first frame. Uh, I'm gonna parent uh, our Photoshop file to the null layer, and so uh, it can stick. And so the last step, actually, I want to do is uh, let me bring the opacity down to 50%, and uh, let me zoom in right. Here. Let me let me zoom in real quick. Um, and so all I'm gonna do is that's that's too much. All right, that's too much. All right, that's good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is click on uh, our file, our, our Photoshop file, and I'm gonna click on the pen tool. And uh, all I want to do is just make a mask around the car. That's all I'm gonna do is make a mask around the car. And uh, let me, I'll um, you know, maybe feather the mask out a little bit, and then we're gonna come right back out. And so now. Uh, let's bring our opacity back up to 100. And so now, <clears throat> let's first let's free up some memory, and then we'll do a RAM preview and, and uh, see what we have. All right, guys, we're back, and we're just finishing uh, RAM proving the RAM previewing the scene uh, that we just worked on. And so uh, let's check it out and see how it looks. All right, so there, as you can see, we removed the car, and so there's no sign that the car was ever there, and so no one will ever know. Um, and uh, so that's how you remove a scene, and so uh, this is before and this is after, before and after, and so uh, that's how simple it is, just using After Effects and Photoshop. Uh, with this method, there's so many more things you can do, and uh, also, I mean, of course, uh, the level of difficulty always depends on the shot. Uh, this shot right here was actually pretty easy, but there's other shots out there that are a little bit more difficult that require a little bit more attention though. But uh, nonetheless, I hope you guys found this tutorial to be somewhat helpful and hopefully this will help anyone out there in their future uh, productions. If you guys ever, you know, come into a problem which can't be fixed by going back out there and shooting and you just need to rely on software though. But uh, anyways, hope you guys like this video. Please give it a like, uh, you know, thumbs up and favorite it. And uh, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.